Hey everybody, this is Da Kenzi and this time I also decided to join Cymatic Skin of the Beat contest and use their 2020 Melody Sample Pack in my beat, so let's go and see what I have created. First of all, let's check the beat. <laughs> from the key of my track and it's C sharp minor. I used this melody from Cymatics and now it sounds like this. So before that it was like this. So I used this melody, re-chopped it, uh, also time stretched it uh, and I chopped every, I think it's a mullet, every mullet sound I like to separate one and put it to a little bit another melody. And I came up with the, with the bass line also, which is here, so the bass I made in EXS24 from one uh, synth and bass shot from Retro Hands Moomba pack, I compressed it and just low passed it. And another layer is uh, another bass which I made in contact. And the library is Substance. I uh, made them in layers, so there are two layers of bass. So together with the bass and cymatics melody, they do sound like this. <laughs> looks like this. So what's on top of Cymatics Melody is I compressed it to piano and I sidechain it to Audio 14 which is my main kick and I did an EQ over here that was just resonant and just low passed it and high passed it a little bit so I added on top J37 from Waves to give the saturation and everything that comes with the J37. And then, uh, of course, I sidechained it with a Nicky Romero start, kickstart, uh, about 80% to give the melody a bounce. With the drums, it does sound like this. The 
pick is it's C sharp. <laughs> More cool things that I did here on the drums is I did uh, hi hats. They are pretty cool. Um, I draw them in MIDI uh, with a brush tool. Uh, just pitch them, blah blah blah. Uh, like separately, they will sound like this. <coughs> So I did them in EXS24 Logic built-in plugin. It is Cymatix Hi-Hat 12. I used the Cymatix sample pack again. I think that was one from the Cobra sample pack. So I compressed it, uh, so I changed it to Audio 14, which is my main kick. Uh, I EQ'd it like this, like just low past it and I passed it also. I threw on the pancake, so I will have the stereo image of the hi-hats is the 47 percent on it and one and a half bars uh also sample delayed them a little bit so they will sound wider and side so chain it uh, again 70 percent to the beat and use just a little bit of reverb valhalla uh, and it's on oaks sand bus more cool facts about the drums um i did the layering of the clap and it's super dope as I think and I used um, Big Head uh, Clap Clap 6 and Gucci Gang Snare from also Big Head and I also used the Retro Hands Moomba Pack Pack 2, the shaker, to make the clap really tight and uh, with the high end. So together the clap will sound like this without the snare. With the snare so with the snare it will have the body and I also added this shaker from Retro Hands Moomba Pack 2 and now the clap sounds really tight and pretty high like you can hear the shaker separately so it adds really high frequencies I really really like it. This was one of my cool things I've done here. So together all the drums sound like this. <laughs> also what I have done here is I, uh, I've added the pre-clap, uh, which is reverse clap uh, over here to make the reverse effect and just for the clap to slide in into the clap. So altogether drums uh, sound like this. I think the most interesting part you will guys would love to know is how I made this uh, main melody which is on the intro and on the drop so the sum of these melodies sound like that okay, wait, 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 wait. So on the verse part, which is gonna be the part for the rapper, um, I used only like a background melody, which is really, really far and made my sound from one part. I already rebounced all my vocal chops because they were eating too much CPU and it was like a howl, nothing was moving. So on the verse, I used just like um, a little bit of this melody, really, really far and with the huge reverb and everything and pants. On the third part, which is like a, like a bridge, let it be a bridge, um, I used another vocal chop, redid it with the half time or um, initial sound slow mo. Yeah, I used this too on this too. the core 
colors which is gonna be over here um, I used uh, different pitches of my melody so this is like a regional one uh, on my melody vocal chops I was using um, um, let me let me show you I was using uh, XLN audio RC 20 retro color which looks like this so it's just like a saturate which is making cool effects with your audio just try messing with it so I was using it on my vocal chops then of course I compressed it uh, so I changed it to audio 18 which is my, my kick I did some cuts in equalizer and of course I chained it a little bit more at the end to match the beats more so on top I was uh, adding different pitch sounds of my melody and also was EQing it and, and everything that comes up with, with this <laughs> so all together they do sound like this and I put them, put them in the sum on this sum I have SSL Solid State Logic Compressor with Lily White mix uh, also side chain to my main kick and I EQ'd it like this and uh, also cut it with a fab filter to cut off all the resonant sounds over here and also low past it so the sub can hit harder and there will be no so all together my melody on the drop will sound like this <laughs> and have different pitches which is cool so the sound will be much fuller if you will use pitch uh, on the uh, another like a breakdown uh, part um, again I've, I brought the bass and the cymatics melody and also on the background really reverby and you cannot hear it almost at all will be um, the main melody so let's check it <laughs> my main basis I use two different types of 808s to make the track uh, different so one was uh, at this part and I was using the big hat 808 C sharp uh, and the MIDI looks like this I did actually slides Woo! I did the slides in, I guess, in EXS24. Yes, I low passed it for 30 hertz. I did it in EXS24. So I just put the sample over here and uh, did the slides over here also with the um, mono or legato. Uh, so I compress it, of course, with the type R bass and sidechain it to main kick, which is audio 14. And at the end I put it the OTT multiband compressor so now it does sound like this with 808 and from this part this, the bass just hits in the, the same bass that was in the intro and like a drop part <laughs> uh, at this part which is like a, like a climax part I used another 808 I guess from contact yeah from contact and the MIDI looks like this Actually, I did slides over here also with the legato option. This look like this. It's just a different type of 808, and I use the I guess this is Fat Library, which is my favorite for this time. 
Yeah, this is fat with um, 10 clean presets and uh, obviously I tweaked <laughs> the knobs, I compress it, added drive, uh, of course I, I've added glide, I just cut out a little bit of tail over here and put this in legato so I can make some slides and my 808 and my 808 sound like this. So on top of my 808 I've added equalizer just cut out 30 I uh, compressed it and oh my god I was like chaining it to main kick yeah uh, I was chaining it to the main kick which is audio 14 I've added air bass on 108 and uh, at the end I've added the OTT multibed compressor for my bass so let's check how it does sound at this point <laughs> just a slow down effect which is here in Logic it's built in and I really really like it so the whole beat sounds like this let's check it out one more time it was uh, Cymatics 2020 <laughs> uh, melody sample pack using I will say like Cymatics 2020 melody uh, and how I use it in my hip-hop beat on 97 BPM in C sharp minor. So let's get it and let's check it out. Thank you for watching. I hope you really like my beat and bye bye.